Hello, I'm Dodie Osteen from Lakewood Church in Houston, and I just wanted to encourage you with a scripture that's helped me so much through the years. In fact, I would not be alive if it were not for Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. There was a time in our ministry that I didn't know that Jesus healed. We were not taught that. John was not taught that in seminary. But in 1981, when I was 48 years old and was diagnosed with cancer of the liver, a tumor the size of an orange and two almond-sized ones, I knew that Jesus was going to heal me. I knew it was His will. When the leper came to Him and He said, Master, if it's Your will, Jesus didn't even say anything. He just took His hand. Imagine and taken the hand of a leper, but he took his hand and said, I will, and he healed him immediately. So whatever you need from Jesus, it may not come immediately, but remember that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changes, just like he healed people when he was walking on the shores of Galilee. He still heals people today, and people do not realize that it is his will to heal. Some people don't because they're not taught it. So if I didn't know that, I would not be alive. My daughter Lisa, who was born with a birth injury, would be in a wheelchair. I read those healing scriptures. And I started out reading Hebrews 13, 8, one time with my scriptures, about 83 of them I read every day. I have them written down. They're my medication. They could not do any medication for me. Chemo may have helped, but it wouldn't help me to live longer than a few uh, weeks, and I was 48 then, I'm four, 82 now. But anyway, find the place where it's written. If it's finances, if it's a child that's wayward, whatever it is, I read that scripture one time for years, and then about four or five years ago, God said, read it five times. He didn't say it in a, a voice, an audible voice, but in my heart. And then two or three years ago, I started reading it 10 times a day. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. I count it on my fingers because it's important to me and it will be important to you. So find the place where it's written, no matter what your need is. And remember that Jesus hasn't changed. He never will. He's always the same and he always will be. And he's always awake. He never sleeps. Father, I pray for those who are watching today. Lord Jesus, I pray, first of all, if they don't know it's your will to heal, they will be like the leper and say, Jesus, if it is your will to heal, then you do it. And Jesus touched his hand and said, it is my will. It is God's will to heal you. So I want you to believe that. Whatever you desire, when you pray, if you pray according to God's will, then Jesus will answer. Sometime we give up too soon. So don't give up too soon. Just keep on believing on, hoping on in faith, because sometime Jesus is our only answer. Doctors are wonderful. My son is a doctor, but they can do so much. They cannot heal your body, but they can help it to heal. They can do the surgery, but it's you that does the healing. So I want you to believe God that he can do anything but fail. I pray for them, Father. I ask you to do a miracle for them, whatever they need, and help them not to give up, Father, but to keep hoping on in faith, knowing, Jesus, that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You will never, ever change. In Jesus' name, amen.